Today you're going to learn how to use Perky Duck and move the text of Simbraille into Word so you can save it and send it to your instructor so they can grade it using track changes or highlighting. So I've downloaded Perky Duck from Duxbury. If you don't know where that's at, we'll start key three. Windows three. Well, I do a start Mozilla key Firefox. three. You start Firefox. 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 Control T. Control T. D Type in Duxbury. And I've got DuxburySystems.com already in my autofill because I go there often. Once you get Duxbury up, do an insert F7 and go to All Products and enter. Insert F7 again. Hit P. There's Perky Duck download. Enter Duxbury Systems dash dash download dash And then you're going to go ahead and bring up your links and go to download a Perky Duck for Windows. I already have it on my uh, desktop and I've downloaded it so I don't need it. So all F4. All F4 in space. Now, once you've downloaded it, I'm back on my desktop. Start key M. Windows M. Desktop. Folder view. List view. Perky Duck 11. I'm on Perky Duck. If you are not on Perky Duck, hit P for Perky Duck. Enter. Enter and open. Perky duck, perky duck. Increase the size of any win window that you have by start key up arrow. Up arrow. Control N for Control a new document. N, Braille document one. Edit. Type in text. Now I'm just going to braille the alphabet so you can see how this is done. You're going to use S, D, F, J, K, L on your keyboard. A, space, B, space, C, space, D, space, E, space, okay. F, As you see, space. it uh, brails out really nicely. Enter. Dot T H space Q K space B R O dot N space F O X space J U M E S space. Okay. Now, after you've finished, you're going to go ahead and do Control A, Control C, selection of clipboard, open Word. Mine happens to be a hotkey. Start key four. Cancel button to activate press space bar. Document one. Now, before you paste, you need to do a Control D. Control D. You need to hit S, S, and you need to do I M, and you need to go down to Simbraille and enter. Document one. Then paste. paste. From clipboard. Skype call in the Dina. So once you've pasted it, your teacher can actually use track changes. Now you will need to know how to do track changes also. So Control Shift E turns it on. So Control Shift E. Control Shift E. Track changes on. And once it's on, I can go ahead and add a comment here or remarks. Let's say I want to highlight this. So I'm going to control shift left arrow. Jump, selected, Alt, upper ribbon, A, H, I, I, I lower ribbon, and I've ribbon highlighted A. it. And then uh, you can actually make a comment on that. So I'm going to go ahead and Alt, Home, add, R, R new, add, C, C for comment. And then your instructor will go ahead and put something like check this in 1.2 uh, if it's a code issue or braille contraction issue. Now you're going to hit escape, escape and the way you will check that is when you get her work you're going to make sure your talking software is on and control shift apostrophe. In one item. Reviewers comments dialog. List one list view. Check this in 1.2. Okay. And you can hear two. what you need 15. to do. One of one. Escape. Print view. Edit. You can also control home. Copy file. A B C D E F. Down arrow. Q K B R left bracket and box. Add comment. Jumps. Comment M. Okay. And it tells you there is a comment there. So that is going to be how you do that. Now, if you do not have the Sim Braille font on your computer, this is how you do that. So I'm going to start Firefox with Start Key 3. That's with my hotkey. Mozilla Firefox about colon land. Control T. Mozilla. Control E. Control e. Type in Sim Braille font. font. Enter Sim Braille font. That's Google search. Now, there's good fonts and bad places to go. Uh, I'm going to hit header and I'm going to go down to Braille font. This is from Duxbury. 
This is a legitimate place to uh, get it, so you actually don't download malware with it. So H for header. Search results, heading level Search two. results. Braille dash font dash some Braille dash nope. Google. Braille font heading level three link visited. Yes. Enter main region. Braille font heading level three. And then you'll bring up your links and where it says click here to download the Braille font and you can download your Braille font and then you can actually do that. So that is how you're going to do uh, Perky Duck. Now let's alt tab alt back tab, to Word. Document one left bracket compact. To save this, you're going to do a, a control S. Control S. Save as dialog. File name name it. Edit. And then, of course, you can go ahead and save it and ship okay. it off. Now, if you happen to be here and you have Outlook, which is a client, you can hit Alt. Go to your file, F, D to save and send, A for an attachment, and Outlook will open. Now I'm just going to type my email in here. Tab down. Type your message. And send with all S. Now if you send this way, you must open Outlook and force save and send. Otherwise it just sits in your client. So I'm typing Outlook. And when it opens... I'm going to hit F9 to force send it. Okay, F9 now. F9. And it force sends and receives inf information. So that way you can go ahead and send it off really quickly. Now, if you want to alt save it alt, 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 in Perky Duck, e hit F3. Save with colon dialog. File name colon name it. F -E -E -L -L. Okay, spell Perky. Be logical in your saving. I would shift tab okay, shift, shift, add, into my list view. Control shift N, N for a new folder. E Make these your perky e lessons. lessons. Enter. One of nine. Enter and open. Alt S to save. And then you can keep very organized with all your files. When you're done, Alt F4. Alt F4. And that's how you do that.